Hello and welcome to episode 134 on the Online Trainers Podcast. Today's topic is aim to be your mentor's best student. Hello and welcome to the Online Trainers Podcast where we go behind the scenes to uncover the latest tactics and strategies top trainers around the world are using to get more clients, dominate their marketplace and get their clients amazing results. There is absolutely no fluff here. I'm your host, Lynn Trin. Now, I know how hard it is sometimes to learn a whole bunch of information, not implement and not be able to follow through. I mean, for years I did that. It was the time of, I think, around about 2014 and 15 where I went through a horrid of consumption where I was consuming like a beast. Like I'd be listening to these podcasts that you're listening to right at this very moment. I'd be reading blog articles. I'd be buying courses. I'd be dead broke and something deep inside of me thought that by buying more courses I would finally suddenly the epiphany the secret would you know open up from the skies and I'd be like oh my god that's exactly what I was looking for and something something would actually allow me to implement and look for two years it was struggle town I'm not gonna lie it was um it was pretty pretty bad and I know A lot of personal trainers and health and fitness coaches and entrepreneurs are in that boat of consumption and and the reasons why I put out this podcast, one of the biggest reasons is to help you follow through, to help you break down the one thing every single day and to do that and by you taking massive action on this, that's when you're really going to get the results. So I wanted to share this with you because I thought this was super, super important. I shared this with guys inside of Legacy and I, I it'd be a disservice, it'd be something horrible if I didn't share it with you. I think back in when I was in year 10, year 11, and I was studying for what here inside of Melbourne we called VCE, which was to get your tertiary scores or get enough great scores to get into um, college and university. Basically, I hated chemistry, and I want to go back here because I hated the thought of chemistry. I really disliked it. I didn't like studying chemistry. I didn't know. I wasn't good at it. I sucked at atoms and and memorizing formulas and and all of that stuff. But there was one thing that stood out, and it was the fact that I really, really liked my chemistry teacher. He was a super cool guy, and, you know, I I hated getting C's and D's and, and all of that on my tests. And I think it came down to year 12, which was the last year. And it was last year, and I was like, look, I'm only choosing this subject because chemistry, you know, my parents brought me up, and they wanted me to become a doctor as as I'm sure every Asian or every cultural parents want, want their kids to become. They wanted me to be really successful. They, wanted, they thought success was by me achieving great scores. So I could go to university, study for five years and six years and become a doctor. And so chemistry was a subject that I needed, but I knew that my chemistry scores were so bad that no university was going to accept me to become a doctor. That'd be silly. I'd be killing people. So in year 12, I made a decision, and the decision that I made was to become my teacher's best student. And it wasn't the fact that I I really enjoyed chemistry. It wasn't the fact that I, I, in fact, I hated chemistry. It wasn't the fact that I wanted to be a doctor. It was the fact that I wanted to be my, um, my teacher's best student that made me, that turned on the switch to make me actually go and do the work. Because the reality is I cared about what he thought at the time, And the reality is, guys, that you'll do a lot more for other people than you will for yourself, and you'll do a lot more for your own status than you will for your goals, okay? Especially if you don't know what your values are at this moment in time. I want to share this with you because when I look back at the successes that I've had moving along, it was, I come from a competitive nature, and generally, I love it when, you know, I grew up having a dad who I always had to please, And so the thing for me, the thing that drives me is pleasing people and actually hearing things from my mentors and the coaches that say, hey, Lynn, you did a a great job, you know, and that's the advantage I had. And so I used this to my own advantage and I said, look, what if everything I studied, my main aim was to become uh, my mentor's best student, you know, whoever I was learning from. And so the same thing, I go into um, the ClickFunnels Mastermind with my mentor, Russell Brunson. I go to Tony Robbins Platinum Partners with Tony as my mentor, and I go, look, I'm striving to be your best student. Now, whether it takes six months, whether it takes 12 months, whether it takes two years, that's the mindset that I've adopted to become their best student. And so by becoming their best student, I actually take everything that they teach because I know That if I actually did the work, if I put the work in, if I followed through and did everything they taught, I'd become their best student and I would get the result. But the fact is I'm not following through for a particular reason. 
I think a lot of people inside the entrepreneurial space, and if you're listening to this podcast, you might be feeling the same thing. If you feel as though you know the stuff but you haven't followed through, you need higher kind of attachments, as what I call them, for you to actually follow through. That's the one gem I want to share with you today, and I really hope it actually calls you to take action. So is there a mentor? Is there someone that you've been following that if you could become their best student, imagine that it's going to open up a series of doors, series of networks for you. Because that's the thing, if you're reading, if you're, if you're on Six Figure Online Coach, if you're inside Legacy, if you're even listening to the podcast and you implement everything that I say and you find a way to become my best student, the opportunities will be limitless to you. So I want you to think about that and I want you to almost go on forward and, and try to implement that inside of your own life um, in everything that you do because you know what, you don't necessarily have to pay for a mentor. Um, But by paying, you almost have some skin in the game, so you have to take action. But if you take action on these podcasts and you you deliver, let me know. I would love it. I'd love to feature. I'd love to shout out, and and I'd love to place you on a shout out, and I'd love to let more people know about what you've done because you've put in the hard work. You've had to overcome the struggles and and problem solve um, your way to success. So that being said, I hope that helps, and go and become your mentor's best student. That's when you'll become successful. All right, if you enjoyed this podcast, please leave me a five-star review on iTunes and feel free to leave a review and that way I can respond and I can take that on board in developing content to serve you. Now, if you're not a part of the Online Trainers Club on Facebook, please do yourself a favor and be a part of the conversation. That's where I add daily tips, tricks and strategies on how you can build out funnels, how you can get more clients and ultimately become a better online coach. Thank you for listening.